Hey, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to talk about an alleged problem that many pool owners think they have. And it's this right here, phosphates. Now, if you don't have the time to watch this entire video, go ahead and come back a little later on. But if you do, I really encourage you to watch this entire video because it can save you a lot of time and money and frustration in the long run. Now, when I had my, my pool route in Arizona, I never used a phosphate remover, or phlox or clarifiers or algicides, anything like that. <clears throat> it wasn't until I got to the Y and I became the pool operator that I saw what can happen when you use and overuse phosphate removers. Now, the Y was going through around four gallons of phosphate remover per week. This is at about 45 cents an ounce. So you can see that it got very expensive very, very quickly. So I put an immediate stop to that. In the first two years at the Y, I saved them close to $15,000 uh, in chemical use. Um, I cut their budget from, to down to about seven, <clears throat> excuse me, I cut their budget by 75%. So uh, simply because I was just balancing the pool correctly. Now, the question is, what are phosphates? Well, in the pool industry, phosphates are food for algae, but it's not the only food. You also have nitrates as well. Now, maybe you've heard, you've gone to the pool store, or you've talked to someone saying, you have high phosphates in your pool, and so you need to add a phosphate remover. Because once you add the phosphate remover, that removes the phosphates from the water. The algae won't have anything to feed on, and therefore your, your water will be crystal clear and everything will be fine. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's partly true, but I'm going to give you the whole truth here. Now, you're supposed to keep your, your levels right here. Okay, this is chlorine, combined chlorine, pH, alkalinity, calcium harness, and cyanuric acid. Pretty much no one who knows what they're talking about concerning pools will argue with this right here. And this is stupidly simple to do and to maintain, okay? But nobody who knows anything about pools would ever argue that this is wrong. This is where you're supposed to keep your readings, okay? Now, I want to go over some some things right here um, that the sun that I've heard from people and also questions on my website that the sun heat and organics um, consume the chlorine and or I'm sorry that the sun heat in organics um, has something to do with the phosphates and phosphate removers and things like that and let's go ahead and define what organics are organics uh, sweat, spit, lotions, oils, grass clippings, uh, leaves, dog hair, dog slobber, animal, you know, d dead, dead animals, you know, if you get a frog or a snake in there or something like that. Um, organics. Here comes the chlorine and it kills this organic matter. That's what it does. Chlorine kills. It's a sanitizer for your pool. So it's the sun, heat, and organics that consume the chlorine, not the phosphates. Okay, the phosphates don't consume the chlorine. All this other stuff, again, sun, heat, usage, organic matter, that consumes the chlorine. That's why you put chlorine in your pool. Okay, so it says right here, chlorine kills the algae. What is, what is something else that, that can be found in the pool? Well, I just gave it to you, algae. The chlorine kills the algae in the pool. That's what it's supposed to do. That's what it does, it kills. So phosphates are food for algae if you have algae, but you don't because you keep your chlorine, you keep your readings right here. This is the chlorine level, one, one and a half to three and a half parts per million. So if you get any algae spores or anything else on the, in the pool, the chlorine kills the algae. So if we have that the phosphates are, is food for the algae, and the, but the chlorine kills the algae, which is what you want, and if you keep your readings at this level right here, 
Here's the question, again, which is stupidly simple to do. You keep your levels right here, your pool's crystal clear. Here's the question, why do I need a phosphate remover? Ask someone that, why do I need a phosphate remover if my pool is crystal clear and my readings are like this? Now, the answer that you're probably going to get is this. Well, the phosphates are food for algae and you need to remove the, the, the phosphates from the water so the algae won't have anything to feed on it. Basically, you want to starve the algae. But there's, there's no algae because the chlorine kills the algae because I keep my chlorine level right here. The chlorine kills the algae. And if the chlorine kills the algae, then why do I need a phosphate remover? Again, they'll say, well, phosphates are food for algae. And you need to use that phosphate remover because you want to starve the algae. And you can say, but I have no algae. Okay? I'm removing, <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to remove a food source from something that doesn't exist. It's non-existent. So if I have no algae in my pool and it's crystal clear and I keep my readings and phosphates are fine to swim in, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, if it's fine to swim in, then my water is crystal clear, well, then why do I need a phosphate remover? This is the question, okay? And they start using this circular logic and it's always the default answer of, well, phosphates are food for algae and blah, 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 blah. Bottom line is this, for weekly pool maintenance, if you keep your readings like this, again, you can very easily, you don't need a phosphate remover. Now, am I saying that you should never use a phosphate remover? No. There are, extenu there, there are extenuating circumstances with anything. Just like I would say, would I say never use a clarifier or never use an algicide? No. You, rarely do I ever say never say never. But for weekly pool maintenance, you keep your readings correct. Understand how each one does its own thing. You don't need a phosphate remover. Period. Your pool is messed up, not because of you, but because you're getting the wrong information. So I hope that you understand this. And, and if you don't, you know, go back through it a few times until you do. So anyway, that's about it. I hope I gave you the information that you needed. Check out the description box below, cleanpoolandspa.com. There's a link to my website, lots of great information over there. Like, subscribe, and comment here. I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. Be safe and happy swimming. Bye.